Making Sustainability More Appealing. One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 459. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do-it-yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution-creating models in the service of all life on this planet. My name is Jay Sable, and I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. One Community is bringing together people with the consciousness and the desire for the highest good of all life on this planet to build sustainable, regenerative, and self-replicating teacher demonstration hubs as a pathway to global sustainability. This is our uh, January 9th, 2022 weekly progress update, and today's topic is making sustainability more appealing. And to really understand what it is that we're doing, imagine yourself stepping outside to multiple acres that you and people that you care about and love own and are stewarding and managing to make as the most beautiful and amazing environment possible. Imagine a diversity of different things that you can do, more diverse than what you can get in most major metropolitan areas, but all within walking distance. A culture of growth and personal development, supported by the members, that live, the people that live there, the community that lives there, and free to everyone that lives there. Imagine no longer having a commute to work. Imagine that your greatest commodity is the environment that you're creating, and the more fun and enjoyable and amazing that environment is, the more that environment will be abundant and thrive through an ecotourism offering that invites people to come and experience that environment and shares what that environment is as the greatest offering. It's like a club med, uh, only an eco-community version of that, and where nobody's employee, everybody is an owner, operator, resident that maintains that environment. And imagine that all of the daily duties, the daily living activities that normally take us a lot of time, preparing food, doing laundry, maintaining cleaning, things like that, child care, are all handled collaboratively so that a few people can handle those things for the whole group. And so everybody has more free time to do the things that they want to do and more things to do with that free time. This is how One Community is making sustainability more appealing. And we're doing it by open sourcing and free sharing all the tools, tutorials, and resources and everything that you see happening in the background of this video uh, to, to create that environment. And so, and we've broken that up into a couple different components. We've broken up into the physical foundations of sustainability and the emotional foundations of sustainability. So the physical foundations of sustainability are food, energy, and housing. And the emotional foundations of sustainability are what we call high good approaches to fulfilled living, high good approaches to education, economics, and true earth stewardship. We're putting all those things together to create a way of living that most people will find to be better than the way they're living right now. And so when we talk about making sustainability more appealing, it's about demonstrating that. It's about showing that we can work together, like 50 people working together to beautify a property and turn it into just a luxury environment. It's amazing what that many people could do if we put our mind to it. Now imagine applying the same mentality to creating the social architecture and activities, you know, and whatever that is for you, you know, maybe it's a community that's really focused on, on nature, or maybe it's a real community that's really focused on sports, or maybe it's a community that's really focused, focused on growth and, uh, or like reading clubs or uh, movie night, or maybe it's writing, or maybe it's, you know, game night, or it could be a pickup game of soccer or basketball, you know, whatever it is that people are interested in, they can cooperate and collaborate, and you want to pull together a team and a group of people to participate, everybody lives within the environment. It's just a matter of saying, hey, like, who wants to do this? And enough people want to get together and do it, it happens. And if you want to create that as a weekly experience, you don't have to drive to somebody's house to do that. You know, you don't have to coordinate by phone or email. You just talk to people over dinner and say, hey, I was thinking this would be a lot of fun. Let's do that. And so one community complete, complete immersive environment is designed to be that. This is designed to pr provide an environment that is built on sustainability, radical sustainability. You know, so for people that are interested in the highest quality food, you know, food that's grown, grown 
uh, locally that doesn't have uh, the three common poisons sprayed on it, which are herbicides, fungicides, and pesticides. You know, water where they know exactly where that water is coming from. It doesn't have chlorine added to it. it. Doesn't have fluoride or anything else added to it. You know, um, for people that are interested in living in environments that are also sustainable, that aren't made with paints that are toxic or adhesives that are toxic or materials that are toxic, that are structures that are built to last hundreds of years and built from sustainable materials. Like all of these things put together is what we're focus, focusing on. So we talk about food, energy, housing, fulfilled living, education, economics, and stewardship. We talk about putting all those things together and putting our minds together and working together as a team, as a cooperative, as a collaborative to create the most amazing environment possible to build the foundations of a sustainable civilization and make it so that it's scalable from just a few people to several thousand people and to demonstrate that. And the larger the community grows, the more we can offer, you know, and that doesn't even look at, we're not even talking about like just the, the tools and the, the things that people like to own and how much more of that can be accessible within an environment where people are sharing. I've said this before, but you know, everybody doesn't need a vacuum cleaner. Everybody doesn't even need a car. Everybody doesn't need a drill. They just need access to those things when they want them. So a tool library, a machine library, and communally shared and owned vehicles means that everybody can have a nicer vehicle that's accessible to everybody and the cost of all those things are shared. You know, and so we're applying that mentality, that cooperative and collaborative mentality to all aspects, the food, the energy, the housing, the education, the economics, all that stuff to create an environment that most people consider to be way better than they are because we know that if we can make it easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate as attractive enough, then the idea will spread on its own. And so making sustainability more appealing for us is about taking those physical foundations, combining them with the emotional foundations, and showing what you can really create and taking the most expensive and labor-intensive aspects of living, eliminating the commute, you know, sharing things like childcare and laundry and having food prepared by the people that love to prepare the food in return, they have their laundry done by somebody else, you know, and what the community gets from that is food professionally prepared, you know, that they can partake in on a daily basis. And so with one community, we take this to the next level. You know, Duplicable City Center is meant to feed 200 people at a time. Then we do laundry for four or 500 people at a time. You know, so the idea and the social and recreation space is a giant, beautiful lodge where people can come and congregate for dances and music and classes and, you know, movie night and reading clubs and book clubs. And there's a game room and a library, you know, so that people have places to go and really share those things as a cooperative, collaborative community experience. You know, the land is open up so that the majority of it is beautiful nature so that people can enjoy that with spaces, private, quiet spaces that you can go to just be with nature, but also places that have been developed or a soccer game or basketball or whatever it is that the community wants, you know, and nature trails surrounding the community and that also travel off the community into areas that are that are uh, national forest land in the case of the location that we're looking at right now. So this is what, what one community is trying to create. And we're an all volunteer, 100% unpaid, non-governmental organization creating this because we want to live this way and want to show people that are interested in living this way like we are, how to do that and create an environment where we can bring together people that are focused on world change, like I'm focused on world change, like our team is focused on world change, so we can create that in real space and constantly upgrade and demonstrate what's really possible through people coming together with common vision, common desire, and common consciousness to create an environment that truly demonstrates living and creating for the highest good of all people in life on this planet and open sourcing and free sharing every aspect of it so it can be replicated as complete teacher demonstration hubs that teach other people how to create these communities as well or as individual components for people that just want to create you know just a food take a food component or an energy or housing component whatever it is that people are interested in providing something in each of those categories for everybody and open sourcing and free sharing it so it can be replicated anywhere around the world this is what one community is up to so if this sounds interesting to you and you'd like to get involved check out our helping page. If you'd like to uh, see everything that our all-volunteer team has created in the past week, visit our weekly progress updates and the blog uh, with this exact same title and the link is in the YouTube uh, description. Or uh, if you'd like to see all of the open source content that we're creating, just explore our website. This is what we're up to. This is what we're creating. If you'd like an overview, uh, like bullet point overview of the major components of our project, stick around for a couple more minutes. And of course, like and subscribe, that always helps us out as well. And until next week, we will keep on keeping on making sustainability more appealing.
this is what we're up to. Thanks. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. The next component is highest good education. This component is complete and pretty much ready to launch once we're on the property. One community's approach to highest good education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet.